Coming up next on Columbus Connections, what do you do when there is an active shooter in church? Shouldn't have to worry about that, but we do. So find out. I am your host, David Britt, and I am dressed in this special attire because this is a special year if you're a Georgia Bulldogs fan. But we're going to get to that a little bit later on. That's another show. But we need to talk about something serious right now. It's 2018, and no matter what type of religious place you go to worship, if you do, we have to worry about active shooters. We have to worry about someone or group of people that may have ill intents coming into that place with the intention of hurting others. So what do you do? No matter what your religion is, you have to be prepared. You should know what to do. And the Columbus Police Department is taking an active measure in making sure that we're aware. They're giving classes, telling us what we need to do, and we're going to talk about that right now. I have with me Sergeant Bush and Corporal Moody of the Crime, of the crime Prevention Unit, and we're going to talk about what can we do and talk about the class that will be offered to tell you what can be done. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome. And hello, first hello. and foremost, thank you for the job that you do. Yes, sir. Yes, I, and, and public perception, and sometimes law enforcement gets a bad rap, but when we dial 911, we want it to go somewhere, and we want somebody to come help us out. So appreciate you for the good that you do in the community. Well, thank you. Welcome. Now, let's talk about, first of all, just active shooters in churches and in religious places. Of all, I mean, it's one thing to have to worry about if you go out on Friday night or if you know you're in a bad place, but when you go to worship and you have to worry about this, it just kind of speaks to the times that we're in. Yes, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, we have had churches request since the shootings around the nation, like Texas and other places, different classes or what to do if something were to happen in Columbus. So that's why we're having this. Yeah. And first, uh, when is the event going to be? The event will be uh, Wednesday, January the 10th at 6 p.m. here at the Citizen Service Center in the community room. Okay. And what, what kind of things will, will you all touch on? We'll be talking about uh, safety inside and outside of the, the building, the church building, your congregation, uh, how to plan and prepare, plan ahead, uh, meet with your security team uh, if you have one, uh, start one if you don't have one, and just to, to be really aware and alert in, in this time. Gotcha. Corporal Moody, how long have you been with the department? Nine years. Nine years. And Sergeant Bush? Thirty-two and a half years. Thirty-two and a half. So that's over 40 years of experience between the two of you. So I, needless to say, you guys have seen and experienced a lot. So you all have an awareness that is, is a little higher than, than, than most people just because of things that you've come encounter with. Uh, is there anything that you can watch for when you're, I mean, you, uh, uh, any kind of religious place is usually welcome to all, but are there certain things that you can watch or look out for in someone who kind of can kind of detect any kind of suspicion? Just, just to be, uh, you know, normal, greeting people, uh, saying hello, handshake, uh, not to overlook anybody or leave anybody out. And uh, I guess if they are carrying some kind of big bag of some, something, uh, just be on alert for that. Gotcha. And what, what type of things will you talk about in the class? Uh, things about video surveillance, if you have video cameras, uh, if, if you hire uh, police or do not hire police, if you, um, if, if you, what to do from the inside, if you do hear guns going off as far as the doors and protecting children and things like that. Gotcha. And that's another, the children. Yes, sir. Uh, how, I mean, what do you do? Do you, because, because in training is so important. I'm so glad that you all are doing the training because when something happens, people tend to react and you have a hundred people doing a hundred different things. So in the unfortunate event that you do hear a gunshot, what do you do? 
I would get to a safe place and call 911 as fast as possible. Uh, try not to panic, even though it is a terrorizing situation. Um, if you can get away, run away. Uh, if, if the person gets so close to you that you have to fight, you might have to end up fighting. Uh, but don't just huddle over in a corner in a ball. Um, don't, don't just um, be a hero to try to take your life into your own hands either. But call 911 and get, get the police to respond as quickly as possible. Gotcha. One so, of the things that you could do is uh, when he was talking about having a greeter or uh, then have a signal that says there's a situation going on, mm -hmm. uh, especially for the security team. And if you may be a smaller church, you may not be able to have that many uh, people in there. You may want to get a small uh, video camera and make sure that it's working. Mm -hmm. Another thing, you may want to purchase some uh, walkie-talkies or something like that so you get a code going, especially like... Uh, Sometimes a Sunday school class is away from the main sanctuary, sanctuary but you'll be able to contact them with a uh, special signal so they'll know that things are going on. Time is of the essence, but, it's, but like he said, you need to uh, look around in your surrounding, and it's good to have layers. Mm -hmm. And you touched on something very important. You said a security team. So there should be, a, and just like you have the ushers and, and the finance team and the ministry team or whatever committees you have, there should be a, a team of people that specif specifically are focused on the security of the congregation. Yes, and have a security plan. I don't care you're a large church or a small church, a temple, mosque, or synagogue, you need to have a security plan. Not only for an active shooter because, you know, that's time to get out. There's no time to talk and uh, get your books and things it's time to go because that person is going to do you and everybody in the uh, place a harm deadly force so with that with that team it should also be something that is practice that is going practice to practice practice gotcha. and if you're just joining us we're talking active shooting in churches and synagogues and mosques in places of worship and what you should do and there's going to be a class on next Wednesday Wednesday January 10th in the Citizen Service Center on the ground floor. So all churches, all religious organizations, no matter what denomination, no matter what faith, this is something that you really want to come to. And again, this is the CPD reaching out and, and really helping the community in something that is really needed and may not be talked about as much. What are some other tips? We've talked about having a plan in action, having a, 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 a security team, having working video cameras. What are some of the other things that churches and organizations need to do? Uh, having well-lit areas when it's dark out, um, keeping their bushes trimmed low below the below the windows, um, just walking around the church property, monitoring everything, especially where the children are, and uh, uh, just looking out, uh, locking doors. What doors should be locked? What what doors may not be locked? Um, and also, they do need to RSVP if they can. Call seven zero six. 653-3150. Uh, 706-653-3150 yes, to RSVP for the class. Yes, that, oh, this is going to be sir. January the 5th. Uh, uh, that's going to be RSVP. But we at this time, we, we mailed some letters out. We go on the, of course, on the news, things like that. We're getting people coming, uh, responding to it. Of course, we like anything at the Columbus Police Department. We are proactive, mm -hmm. especially in the Crime Prevention Unit. We're proactive, and we want this to be it's like the old saying, it's not F is going to happen, it's when. It's when. Now, you, it's going to be on January the 10th. January the 10th. Mm -hmm. Now, some things you touched on, are, and I like that, is that it's some things that people often overlook and don't realize that it's part of the security plan. Cutting the bushes, giving people less places to hide, locking yes. doors. Usually, a lot of religious places have a lot of different doors and a lot of different entrances, which unfortunately give people a lot of different chances to enter and exit. So those, those small things that you may just overlook, being places being well lit, or having security on days besides Sunday when the churches have different functions. Mm -hmm. The different stuff like that, huh? Yes, yes and, and being careful who you lend out the keys to and getting those keys back. And uh, if you have visitors coming in and out, be careful who you give the keys to. 
Gotcha. And a good idea, of even when, okay, good, um, anytime it's potential danger, but you got to realize when people are moving, that's always potential time, you no know, ch changes of uh, movement, you no know, classes changes, uh, 11 o'clock service, or whenever you service, people move to the synagogue. And have people watching 360 degrees, because mm -hmm. that is probably the most of the day, because people say, oh, I got hair on the back of my head, or they say something doesn't feel right. Usually that's a good sign that, that it, it doesn't feel right for a reason. Mm -hmm. I noticed something, when, and, and I noticed when I, whenever you speak with people in law enforcement, be them the police, marshals, sheriffs, even the military, you all say so many things that are, that are key that the average person would just not even think about. Like, like you talked about, you know, being aware of your surroundings, uh, trimming the hedges. Uh, what you said about my, knowing your schedule, that's big, and knowing when your people are moving, knowing when they're in open areas, knowing when the children, because somebody else may be studying those things they do. that we take for granted. They do a lot of times, that's what happens. Most of the time, an active shooter is planned. It's not, mm -hmm. some, it's not a random act, it's planned. And as they always say, you don't want to be a victim. They right. may go to one place and study a lot of places, but they say this place may be easier because they're not practicing the common sense things, mm -hmm. the things that we all right. learned when we were small, but we sometimes forget, and that's why we have these seminars, so we can be reminded that safety first. Safety first. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to worship in fear, or exactly. that you have to cancel your worship. It just means being more aware. If you have us follow these things, and nothing is 100% preve preventable anywhere, let's be honest. But following these steps can just reduce those risks, reduce those possibilities, and, and not cause you to worship in fear, but rather allow you to worship more openly because you know you're prepared. Yes, right. sir. Yeah. We're again Wednesday, January the tenth. What time? Six p.m. Six p.m. And they need. And what number do they call if they? Seven zero six six five three three one five zero. You got you. And is there anything else that we need to just really let people know with these situations? Safety's first, safety is top priority. Yeah. Safety is top priority. And we want you to come out and worship wherever, God's, like you said, religious. You know, that's also, that's people, spiritual haven, but we also want to be physical haven so they can enjoy the experience and go back because that's what this cinema is proactive. We don't want it to happen in Columbus, but that's why we're here before it happened. Right, absolutely. Also, National Night Out, that's a big thing. I know it's a little ways away, but we want to go ahead and, and, and perk the ears for a second. When is National Night Out? August the 7th, 2018. August the 7th, 2018. We plan on 1,800 hours, uh, leaving, hopefully, the Civic Center lets us have it again. And, uh, and we had uh, 33 active uh, neighborhood watch that participated. And we would like to have as more. No, because that's our Super Bowl of safety in the city. Say, hey, Super Bowl of safety in the city. We appreciate. That's why they brought you out here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about it, <laughs> but they, we appreciate that the citizens uh, have started from one convoy to ten, and I know the officer and the marshal and the deputy, and of course our unit. We get a chance to get out and eat a little food, have a little time, and then we mingle with the citizens who support us. You know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, hey, that handshake said we appreciate the service. That's what that day is about. And also the commitment, hey, mm -hmm. we are serious about crime in Columbus. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when people ask what is the police, what are the police doing to help the community, you can tell them that in Columbus, our police department is being proactive. And one of those ways is letting us know how to handle effectively our worship places. Again, regardless of where or what type of worship places they are, we want you to be able to worship safely. Wednesday, January 10th, at the Citizen Service Center, there will be a class talking about just that, things that you can do in your service to prevent and, and, and help people worship in peace and prevent active shooting. One more time, what's that phone number to RSVP? 706-653-3150. 3150. We'll see you there.